Oh my goodness, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. You're in the bathroom with me. We have got to candle eggs, and I wanted to show this real quick. Some wonderful new soap I've just gotten from Miss Angela. Orange Spice Baby, perfect right now. It's the week of Thanksgiving, and we want to smell beautiful and spicy. So this is going to be going in my shower next, so I thought I'd show that. But guys, we have got to candle the eggs. We are on day 15, and I haven't candled them again. I know, I know, I know. But at least I caught it in time, right? Because we're pushing day 17, which will end um, the time in which we will be rotating the eggs and going to lockdown 18. So I've got to see what's going on in here. Let's see how all of these babies turned out so we can press forward and hopefully have some healthy baby chicks. All right, guys. So I've been turning the eggs and we candled them a little over a week ago and we put this up for you. And uh, I know a lot of you have seen a lot of candling videos. I know it's that moment of she's candling eggs again. But you have to. And every time that you candle, you're going to see something different, okay? So, here we have it. I'm just going to start taking them out. And let's see where we are, okay? The goal here is to find out, are they fertile? Which we've already done that. But how healthy are they? How are we doing in here? <gasps> okay, so I see veining right there. Now, this is an olive egger. Okay, so it the darker eggs are more difficult to see. Well, sometimes they are. It just depends, really. But um, we've definitely got a baby in there. I don't see a blood ring. I do see the air sac right there. See that line right there? A real distinct um, um, air sac right there. Oh, oh, oh. And we have movement. Do you see it? See, this just doesn't get old, y'all doesn't get old. Okay, so we're going to put this baby back as an O. All right, we're going to try to move fast. So today is day 15. So basically, I'm doing a candling to see where I should have been around day 10. Okay, this baby, so far so good. And I'm pushing up against the little box that holds my candler um, because I'm filming. So you can see right there, there's the baby. There's baby. All right. See the air sac? All right. So we do have development in here. I'm going to keep moving along. Okay. Putting it back. Oh, side up. X's and O's. Okay, here's my little um, silky, silky egg. All right, little silky. Silkies need a little bit more delicate love, don't they? Yes, they do. Looky there. God love it. All right, I'm going to turn it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Movie move. Look at that sweetness. You got to love that. Okay, so the Silky's doing good. All right, remember that we originally had 10 eggs, and I candled them to find out that two of them were not fertile. So now we're seeing, uh-oh, now we're seeing what's going on here. Hmm. This one doesn't look too hot. I can't tell. What do you think? Actually, it looks a little bit dark. The egg is a little bit muted right there. Actually, I think we might be looking pretty good. So we're going to um, put this one back. You see the air sac right there? Yeah, I actually think we're okay here. All right, so here we go. Okay, okay. Come here, baby. This is my Buff Warpington. Be there, Buffy. Be there, Buffy. Looky there. Oh. Okay, looking in here. Moving. You see the veining. Going to move it over here. I've got the air sac right there doing good. Oh, looking really good. Okay, so far so good. So far, five out of the eight. Okay. I know, I put these little crazy smiley faces just to be funny. I am rotating my eggs three times a day, okay, at a minimum. You can do, whoa, oh, uh, I think we've got some Olympic gymnastics going on in this one. Look at that. <laughs> I know, guys, I get so excited. <laughs> That's another buff, baby. I put the little smiley faces on my buff. So these are pure buff Orpingtons, okay? Looking good, baby, looking good. Oh, my goodness. So on day 17, not tomorrow, but Thanksgiving Day, um, will be my final day of rotating the eggs. When you hit day 18, 
you you stop, okay? So day 17, which will be Thanksgiving for me, is my final rotation. Looky there. Is that not amazing? Oh, my goodness. God is so good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, we're going to put that one there. Last one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what do we have here? This is my leghorn mix. Holy cow, looky there. Is that not amazing? I'm going to turn it so you can see. Look at that. Oh, I am just always impressed by this candler and all that it can do. Look at that. Everything. Baby's doing really, really good. Awesome. Air sac is great. Baby's moving. Look at all of that unbelievable uh, action there. All right, guys. We're going to put them back, and we're going to make sure our water stays nice and high. Okay? And we've got all the O sides. This is my final little rotation for the night. Again, on day 17 will be your final rotation as far as rotating the eggs. When you hit day 18, you lock it down. You fill the water up, make sure it's good and high. Lock it down. If you have to open it for just a second uh, during the last couple of days, you know, that's one thing. Just make sure they're not actively pipping. Okay. If you have to open it because they, uh, during the time in which they are actively pipping, try to make it. I've always been told or in red like 15 seconds. So if there's something that you have to fix, whatever you need out here to be prepped, make sure it's done before you take the top off. Guys, thanks for watching Appalachia's Homestead. Hope you're having a blessed week and a wonderful Thanksgiving coming up. Eat everything. No rules this week. You're going to do what you want, right? We'll keep you posted on these babies. They should be coming around by the end of the weekend. I'm excited. Love you guys. Thanks for following. We are so grateful and thankful for you. And for all of you that are supporting the Great Appalachian Homesteading Conference, we are overwhelmed. Uh, we've got more coming on that, guys. We are just so blessed, and we thank you. Y'all be good, and I'll talk to you soon, and we'll see you on the next video.